Unit 10. Green Chemistry Unlocks Gold in E-Waste, March 20th. It's another school day with the same ritual. You wake up to your smartphone's alarm, scroll through messages during your commute, and listen to your favorite playlist with your wireless earbuds between classes. These devices, integrated smoothly into your daily routine, certainly make life more convenient. However, where do these devices end up after you replace them? In fact, the issue of electronic waste is a growing global concern. According to the United Nations, in 2019 alone, we generated an astonishing 53.6 million tons of e-waste, an average of 7.3 kilograms per person. Projections hint at the figure soaring to 110 million tons by 2050. Unfortunately, only around 20% of e-waste is currently being recycled responsibly. However, in this e-waste crisis, there's a glint of gold, quite literally. The UK's Royal Mint, in collaboration with Canadian startup Exir, is pioneering a groundbreaking method to extract 99% of the gold from circuit boards of discarded electronics using a patented green chemical solution. As it can dissolve gold within minutes, even at room temperature, and as the solution can be reused up to 20 times, this secret formula is both efficient and eco-friendly. The magic isn't confined to gold. The technology also offers the prospect of recovering other precious metals, such as palladium, silver, and copper. The Tokyo 2020 Olympics demonstrated the potential of recycled metals. Organizers cast 5,000 gold, silver, and bronze medals using metals from 6 million cell phones and around 72,000 tons of e-waste. In line with this trend, the famous jewelry brand Pandora plans to entirely shift to recycled gold and silver by 2025. Next time your classmates chat about the latest product launches or device trends, remember this. Don't just toss away an old smartphone. Find a way to recycle it and you might be recovering something of genuine value.